It helps to have flashbacks of our lives if we must move forward. We need to ask tough questions like, are we still stuck in the past with our old habits? What has changed? Has my life been on a downward spiral or an upward trend? What is the way forward? First, let's get rid of the word instant, as in for a very short moment, because what is the point of that? Instead, let's embrace instant that is in the present moment because upgrading your life for real happens in the present and it is continuous so here are five ways to instantly upgrade your life switch it up this is the lowest barrier of entry so this is where i always start from because just a few tweaks to your loops can work wonders over the years i have tweaked my appearance when trying to upgrade i went from wearing short light hair to hair that gave me more volume and worked well with my facial structure when styling your hair, try a more daring look rather than just putting it in a bun because that will make a whole lot of difference. If you're wearing a low plane haircut, you can create a signature look by dyeing your hair or putting it in a dreadlock, cut it a bit lower or leave it to grow out some more. Keep your footwear in pristine condition by cleaning it properly and then drying it if you prefer that to washing. Wear an eel protector to keep your eels scratch free. It is this little attention to details that add up and have a big impact. Not a serial killer, but I love black because it works well with all colors and it's low maintenance. However, there is such a thing as color psychology where colors can influence perception from others and even the way we think and carry ourselves. So try switching out your all black wardrobe with some color. Style yourself in some warm colors like orange and yellow to give you some energy. Cool colors like green, purple, and blue can be calming and soothing, so you can try that as well. Pastel colors like peach, light pink, or lilac can be incorporated into your wardrobe, while neutrals like white, mm, white, and beige can also make you feel calm and powerful. Strong bright colors like red can get you noticed and immediately upgrade your appearance. Also, switch up your energy. The best upgrade is when you're truly enjoying life because there will always be problems. But here you are standing tall, standing strong, knowing that you will come out of the other side even stronger. Be an optimist. Whenever I set my heart on doing something, that is when I get my first bout of rejection. The rejection stems from a place of fear. What if I don't succeed? What if this is just a complete waste of time? What if I don't make it? If this fear builds up, I abandon what I want to do or I just don't put in as much effort. On the flip side, whenever I am hopeful and think that an idea may work, I put in my best effort and do it excellently well. Sometimes the reason why you're not able to upgrade your life is not because you are incapable but because you are not optimistic about the outcome of what you're doing. You're holding back and you're not putting in your 100%. We often hold ourselves from greatness because what if you try everything and don't succeed? To which I respond, what if you try everything and you do succeed? If there is even a 10% chance of a great outcome, I would rather take it than wonder what would the could the should have been. Move your body. Our body is the single most important asset that we have. When you're in great shape, half the battle is won. 2018 was when I first committed to an entire year of working out. I held myself accountable publicly. I even created an Instagram account to track my progress. 2018 through 2020, I was working out religiously and my body was at its strongest. I broke through mental barriers and lifted weights I didn't think was possible. I felt confident and people around me complimented my discipline so often that that boosted my confidence even more. Although I haven't worked out as much in 2021, I can tell you that a strong and healthy body is the first physical confirmation that you have upgraded, or at least it works for me. It takes less than 30 minutes of your time to exercise. Only 30 minutes every day to sweat out harmful toxins, reduce the risk of heart diseases, depression and stress. Thanks to endorphins, the chemicals released when one exercises, I am fired up and ready to start my day after a workout. NHS calls exercise the miracle cure. I call it the surest way to upgrade your life instantly with minimal effort. Do something creative. It wasn't until 2019 that I started to explore my creativity. Before then, all I did was work, 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 work. Even my hobbies revolved around work. 
Work is essential for survival and because for a lot of people work is directly tied to survival, it's hard to not get caught up and sometimes we tend to even overwork. Over the years though, this started to have an impact on me. I earned more but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was stuck. So I decided to tear away from work and spend at least one hour each day on a creative activity. I went to karaoke, played video games, analyzed movies, tried new recipes and added my own spin to them. The effect was instant. I was happier, even more efficient at work because that is what happens when you're happy. You radiate happiness. So pick a time each day or if you're too busy each week and spend it on a creative activity, whether that is painting, writing lyrics, reviving old furniture, writing a book or whatever floats your creative juice. Creativity never takes away from you but takes all of you to morph into a better version of you. Stop rushing. If you're anything like me, you love doing things at your own pace. On a typical day, I pull out my diary and write out my to-do list. Although I achieve what I set out to do, I don't usually stick to the time slot allocated for those activities. That seemingly unharmful habit spiraled out of control and extended to external commitments. In other words, I was always rushing late to my appointments. We avoid setting up a system of doing things because we believe we're in control until it is evident that we are actually not in control. To avoid rushing, I set my internal clock, that is my five senses, and I set my external alarm, that is my physical alarm clock, to schedule my appointments an hour early and include three reminders. So if I'm to be at a place at a particular time, say 10 a.m., my alarm is set to be at that place one hour early, that is 9 a.m. All of a sudden, I am no longer rushing, my life doesn't seem so disorganized, and I complete my task every day. When I am rushing, I forget things, I don't do my task well, I am disorganized and I tire out quickly. So stop rushing. Stop rushing your meals, stop rushing to catch the bus, stop rushing to bed at night, stop rushing to get your work done, stop rushing to get dressed, stop rushing and start planning in advance. If you're rushing, you're already late. For me, upgrading my life requires intentional effort every day to be the highest, best quality human that I can possibly be. It is taking charge of the things within my control and not worrying about the things beyond my control. I am glad that there are people out there who are consciously working to upgrade themselves, so I know I am not alone in this journey. I am going to be a better me by the time you watch my next video and this tiny effort by the law of compound interest will yield massive results 5 years down the line, 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line. I hope it's the same for you. Until next time, go create something amazing and become a better version of you.